I first came to know about Guruji through my mom in uh, 2014 when the uh, Mandir and Oak Tree first opened up and we got to do Seva before Guruji's birthday and um, I was young at that time so I didn't think much about Guruji. It was just like any other mandir to me. And um, over time my mom would take me to oh my mom would take me to satsangs but I didn't feel anything special at that time until twenty nineteen when um, I was going through some visa problems and um, I was turning 21, so that meant I had to be on a student visa. And um, the school counselors, they told me that uh, that I should go back to India and um, um, that my chances of getting my approval would be uh, better if I went back to India and got my visa stamped from there. Um, and that was difficult for me to hear because I've been here since middle school. I went to high school a year, and um, like America was my home. So that was the. Uh, sorry. Um. So that was the time when my mom she took me to Amritala. And um, I would do our last to Guruji to please uh, let me get my visa approved on time so I can continue going to school. And uh, of course, Guruji uh, blessed me and I got my visa approved on time. And I was able to finish my ma uh, bachelor's and then now I'm finishing my master's. So, Shukrana Guruji. And uh, um, after that, uh, I would continue to go to satsangs and then I slowly got connected to Seva and um, I still I was feeling a little lost and I wasn't feeling the the connection that I uh, wanted to feel and uh, I would ask Guruji you know Guruji I'm doing Seva I'm coming to satsangs but I, I don't feel that connection that I that I wanted to feel and I I realized that I wasn't that I wasn't uh, really taking Guruji's blessings I wouldn't have Guruji's uh, Langa Prashad I wouldn't have Chai Prashad I would do Seva but I felt like I was doing Seva just to do that and I started feeling guilty and I would ask Guruji you know please I, I want to feel connected to you and over time Guruji like gave me the guidance and I started to stay after my seva and sit down and listen to the, the Shabads and I started to understand um, his teachings and I was getting more messages. I was uh, drinking my chai prashad, I was having my langa prashad and um, coming to uh, my Amritvala satsang, I, throughout my journey I would always uh, think about Amrit Vela and I tried to do Amrit Vela on weekends or just whenever I could even at home but I wasn't I wasn't getting that satisfaction that I got when I first uh, when I first went uh, uh, to Amrit Vela in 2019 and um, sorry I'm blanking um, and in November, last year in November was when I told Guruji, I was like, Guruji, I really, really want to go to Amritvela. And I said, at least, I, I want to at least go for 40 days. And once I started going, I was like, you know, the feeling that I was getting was, I felt so peaceful. I felt so much joy. And I told Guruji, I was like, Guruji, no, 40, 40 days is not enough. I need, I need more. And, uh... I asked Guruji, just um, give me a mitra for as long as you can. And um, through Amritala, I felt more connected. I was able to focus more because that was the 
it was like the first thing I would do every every morning and I was uh, able to connect to the Sakis and throughout the day whatever I would think about whatever I, w I would be stressed about or confused about I would go to Amritila and then every all of my concerns and all of my questions would get answered and um, I got to learn you know how to how to get over your ego how to do the right thing and um, and yeah um, and there was this one time one day where I was really um, I was stressed about the situation and I didn't know which way I should go or what I need to do. So I was asking Guruji, like, please guide me in the situation. And uh, the next day, I, um, I woke up and I looked at my WhatsApp and I got a message from a really, a random number, I don't know who that person is, and it was a picture of Guruji, like, looking down and it said, uh, Vishwas Rak Mere Te Rasta Mil Jayega. So at that time, I was like, Guruji, you really are there. Like you're, like you're li listening to me, and you're gonna guide me. So it's, throughout my journey, I feel like I've just I've surrendered to Guruji. I've left everything up to Guruji. Whatever he thinks is right for me, whatever he thinks is best for me, he will do. Because sometimes we might ask for something but guruji has bigger plans for us and that's why i just left it, left it up to guruji and uh, uh, i feel like also i hear a lot of satsangs and uh, many people they say that you know guruji takes away 90 percent of your pain but for me i feel like i don't even feel that 10 percent of pain i feel like guruji took away all of my pain and all i feel is like happiness and um I'm so um, thankful to Guruji for that. So, and I hope he keeps me connected um, for forever. And uh, um, yeah, shukrana. Jai Guruji.